Now, some of you may be saying, apricot bran bread? I'm not sure about that, but don't judge before you actually try. This is a very delicious, healthy bread with a subtle taste of the apricots, and you can't even tell the bran is in there. So see, you can eat good and enjoy a good piece of bread, get a lot of fiber at the same time. Now, I've been cooking up this bread for a really long time and even liked it as a young girl. Kids like this, so that's good. And actually, this is one of my first recipes I learned in my foods class in high school out of Thermopolis, Wyoming. Now to start, of course, you need to heat your oven to 350 degrees. And here's what you need. You actually need to um, snip some dried apricots, as I have here. You want to pour boiling water over these. And you want to let those, just set those to the side as we get, we have to prepare a few other things. Now the next thing that you want to, to do is actually you're going to take um, some egg and you're going to mix that together with some milk. And we want to soak our bran. And this is about a cup cup and a half of bran and it's bran cereal. You can use any kind that you like. Let's go ahead and mix that together just until moist and we'll also set that to the side. It's kind of a three-part thing here but it's so easy. Have your kids help you. This is also a fun activity for the weekend. Also a great snack for the kiddos and for the entire family for that matter. Okay we're done with that part. Then the other part we need to get ready here of course is all of the dried ingredients and you want to put those all together and stir them up so it's all consistent there. All right, now because the magic of tea, we'll pretend that time has passed. You want to make sure that at least these apricots sit for about 10 minutes. You want to drain off the excess water as so, like that. Nice and, nice and good there, put that back in. Also, we're gonna sprinkle these little guys with a little, little, just a little bit of sugar, okay? And we'll toss that to coat. As so, we'll do that quickly here. There we go. Okay, now that that's ready, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually pour this into the mixture. I like to do it in this order, not quite as messy. And if you've been following me with Meals in a Rush, you know I can make quite the mess as a chef. So we'll coat those as is. And then we're going to add the bran mixture. And uh, once this, you know, you set this to the side, you want it to get nice and soft here. So we're going to go ahead and pour that in. Voila. You know how the kids in the kitchen, they love to mix. So the more bowls you have and the more things you can put in and have them a part of it makes it for a fun time for the entire family. We're going to mix this all together until it's nice and coated. And you're going to notice that it is a thicker type of a consistency with this bread. And don't let that worry you because that's actually what, what you're going to need with this. And it cooks up so perfectly. I just love the consistency of this. So we're going to pretend that this is actually all done. We're going to set this to the side. And you want to make sure, also, oh, another secret here. When you're measuring out dried products, always use a measure device like this. Don't use the kind that you do the liquid in. Always sift your flour. A lot of people forget that stuff and it does actually make a huge difference. So don't forget to do that. All right, you're going to grease your 9 by 5 loaf pan as so. And you would pour this, of course, into that, and you're going to bake this bread for probably about an hour. And with this bread, what I, like to, what I like to do is the old technique of once it gets closer to the time being done, take it a little bit out of the oven. We don't want you to burn yourself, and kind of do that, that, that press on top, press lightly, and if it springs back and doesn't feel gooey, as I like to say, then you know that it's done. And there you have it. Look at this. And once it comes out of the oven, I like to sprinkle a little extra sugar on top. Gives it a little bit of a sweet touch. And if you look at this, it's just a beautiful color. You want to bake till it's light, a light brown like this. And let me tell you, it's so good if you warm it up, of course, and you put a little bit of margarine on it, especially with fall in the air and it getting a little bit crisper outside. Um, it makes for the perfect treat. So there you have it, an easy and delicious apricot bran bread. So you go out and enjoy the meals in a rush way. And I'm going to eat now, my favorite part of all of this.